In this video, we'll look at how we can add new timers into ProPresenter and all the different types that we can use. Let's get started. So here we are in ProPresenter and we're going to go up the top here to timers and we're just gonna add a new timer. Now I'm gonna add three timers for this video so that I can show you all three types of timer. So here we can name our timers. So let's call this timer one, and we're going to change this to two and this one to three. Then we're going to choose here. So we can choose a countdown, a countdown to time and an elapsed time. So we're going to do a countdown and we're going to count down for 10 minutes because it's going to be our MC spot, which goes for 10 minutes and we want it to overrun. So if it reaches the end, we want it to keep going. So the person on stage knows that they've gone over time and how long since it's been over time. If I click start, it's going to start for me. So 10 minutes. There we go. Stop, reset. Timer two is going to be for our countdown. So it is going to count down to a time. Now my event is going to start at 10 a.m. So I'm going to put in 10 a.m. I don't want it to overrun because I want it to stop once it gets to 10 a.m. And if I start that, that is how long there is till 10 a.m. where I am at the moment. Reset that. And my last timer is how long the event went for. And we're just going to start it at zero. We don't want an end limit. We don't want it to overrun. And when I start this one, it's going to count up. So that's our three types of timers and how we can add them in ProPresenter. Thanks for watching this fast ProPresenter 7 tutorial. Don't forget that if you found this confusing or you'd like more information, our longer tutorials can be found on our YouTube channel.